All right, so let's put some dimensions on this thing. And the first thing I'm going to do is set up a new level. So let's make up a new level. I'll call it dimensions. Makes sense. We're going to put the dimensions right in uh, sheet view. Okay. So that's where we're going to print it out. Sort of makes sense. Let's try. We'll scroll down here and get uh, dimension linear. And just try one. Left click. Left click. Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? Maybe I could tweak it a little bit, though. Let's hit the style magnifying glass here, make a new style, and we'll just call this uh, steel for a for style. Nothing fancy. Geometry, half an inch by, that's pretty good. Text, 0.15 by 0.15, that's not too bad. Uh, units. We want to use the master units of inches. That's pretty good. How about we put uh, uh, inches mark, a double quotation there on the end of it. Hit save. And then, yeah, but I haven't changed anything, I thought. Yes. Let's see what it does now. So if I use the style of steel, and do a dimension this way. That's not too bad, is it? I like that style, so I think I'm going to change this other one to match. I can use the change dimension tool. Make sure I'm on the steel type. And then left click one more time, and now they're both in this steel dimension. I can add a couple more things, maybe like the uh, the K value, go back to dimension linear. The K value, I'm going to zoom in here. Like that. You see it went the other way until I flip the mouse around like that. That's better. I don't really like how that lined up. It doesn't make any sense either. Why is it 0.27? No way that's 0.27. Let's try that again. Now yeah, let's just undo that one and try it again. Dimension linear. I'll tie it from the bottom up. It goes from the bottom of the curve to the top of the flange. That's what I want. 3.25. You gotta watch your dimensions and make sure that they make sense as you're going along. You know? Do the offset there, move it down a little bit, just left clicking through this. And what else we got? We got a dimension here too. Those all seem pretty reasonable. I think I've got it more or less. All dimensions, yep. Alright, so the other thing I do is clean up these uh, lines and stuff in here. And I think I'm going to want to put my titles in sheet view instead. So I'm going to switch over and do that. So that means I go to back to the title block and I can clean these out of here. And I'll clean the date out, the title, I can leave that it was drawn by me, which week it was, and the scale. And uh, maybe I'll use the uh, change text since this is a structural. I'll change it to an S. So you can change it over here if you want. Um, I think it's easier to work with, you know, this is your template from everything you're, you're drawing and then fix it here. So now you see that those lines disappeared. So whatever I referenced, you know, you can change things in the reference and it changes in your, uh, in your sheet view as well. So let's do some text. And I'm going to pick the style, I think 100 left, and put in first draft, a couple of tabs, and today, which is 2, what is it, 4, 2010, and I'll just put that right in here, and then I need to do 
title, which mine is a W40 by 362. Put the title in. Try to center that up. I just go O and then up that centers it and then project number this is going to be weak so I want to make that smaller 125 centered week 5 this is due let's go straight down from that good scale is one inch equals one foot. A foot. There we go. And it looks pretty good. I think we got it. Ah, there you go. A Beijing pickup truck. I should probably do a little more cleanup here, though. Let's uh, look at it. See, this is in black, so when I use the pen table, it's going to come out heavier. I should probably make the dimensions a different color as well. So let's, uh, well maybe we should put all this, the text stuff in its own level too, right? So let's do that. Where's me level manager? Make a new level. We'll call it uh, title text. And what I can do then is use change elephant attributes. At the same time I'll make it green and switch it to title text. Get all that stuff. So that's all on its own level now. And then we should probably make the dimensions blue. They've already got their own level. I click those around. So when I print it using a pen table, it'll come out at the different line weights. And it'll work nicely. So far so good. Good. I can always go back to my reference tool. I'm going to do a little move reference. Move this whole th not that one. I got the wrong model. The other one. I'm going to move this whole thing down just a little bit. See if that'll work. So notice how the dimensions kind of stretched with it. So they, you know, they can kind of follow what you're doing. Sorry, I think you're uh, not seeing it because I've got that off the screen. There's the move reference tool, which is hard to work with with this right in the middle, but I can move this back up or sideways or whatever, and the dimensions will follow with it. That's all I was doing is moving around to make it make more sense. That kind of frigged it up a little bit, so I'm going to go back with undo and one more time. And I guess I'll leave it right there where it was. So oh, that should do it. Let's close out the references and try printing it. I'll print. And I will attach a pen table like I showed previously. Everything went to black, so that's good. Let's try printing it just to see what happens. Uh, what are we going to call this? A w shape. It should have popped out. Let's see what it looks like. And there you have it. Looks pretty good. They'll see how these lines around the, the steel are bigger, a little bit smaller in the uh, dimensions, and, and the most small are the outlines. So there you have it.